Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, this is a video on the JJRC H8C quadcopter. And um, basically on this guy, I'm just going to tell you about some mods I've done to it um, to make it fly longer. Um, also um, for it to take a little bit better uh, video. Um, this quadcopter has been known for having kind of a jello effect. I guess a lot of quadcopters have this jello effect um, when you're filming and there's too much vibration the um, the video becomes uh, kind of wavy and um, jittery and uh, there's a few things you can do to remedy that and I'll show you how to do that and also just a couple more things I've done um, first thing I'm going to point out is the um, kind of this motor bracing mod. Now, um, I don't know if you notice here, but basically I've got a couple of rubber inserts between the um, kind of the uh, the rotor shaft here and then the actual motor is inside of the um, this housing here. And the that was kind of a design flaw for this thing where the um, if you were to hit the ground or something or hit a tree or something this has the potential to kind of bend a little bit too much and it could separate the gearing down here where this um, the pinion gear uh, meshes up with this larger I guess you could call it like a spur gear or something um, and if this is pushed in too far these could separate and you could strip your gears so what a lot of people have been doing is just kind of putting an insert here so that doesn't happen. It probably adds a tiny bit of weight, but what I did was I just took um, some feet from an old broken router, like that, those bottom rubber feet, pulled them off, and they've got like this um, kind of this sticky tape on the, um, the top of them where you pull them off and that just kind of sticks to the motor. You just kind of center them um, right in between the motor and the shaft there and that gives it a little bit more probably dampening as well as um, it kind of braces that shaft from bending in the case of a, a crash or something. So I did that around all four corners um, just putting these little rubber tabs and you know you could probably find something around the house to just shove in there and make sure it doesn't come out uh, one of them, the sticky tape on the back, the sticky residue um, got ripped off. So I just put like a dab of super glue, just a tiny, tiny bit, just to kind of keep it in place. Um, not much, just in case you want to remove it, you can pull it out, just a tiny, tiny dab. Or you could use something else like more of a less bonding glue just to stick it in there. Anyway, uh, moving on. Um, I was talking about the camera and what I've done with the camera is um, got a little bit of double sided sticky tape and first I just basically um, put it on the back now the way this thing kind of seats in you can't see it here but it it's got these little notches these little hooks and you just kind of slide the the hooks into the craft, the accepting um, slots, and it just kind of clicks in. But after it clicks in, it's a little bit um, loose in there. The connection isn't really tight. So if you put like some foam, I just basically cut some foam from, I think it was from one of the RC motor boxes I got for one of my my trucks, and uh, you know just retrofit some foam, shoved it in there in between the camera and the the craft and it kind of pushed the camera down a little bit and made it tight so those those joints weren't shaking the camera around as much um, and it also dampens a little bit I guess with the, f the foam it absorbs a little bit of the, the vibration and then with this camera it's a little 2 megapixel um, camera so the resolution I think it's 720p and it's got this cool little feature where you can rotate it kind of like this up and down um, of course before you launch you can't rotate this from the controller 
but what you can do which most mini quads with cameras can do now is you can start and stop video from the controller when the quads in the air and you can also um, press a different button to take snapshot photos with this camera now the um, the micro SD card that came with this craft um, was a two uh, two gigabyte and the two gigabyte one it just kinda wasn't working very well and it didn't really give me you know much video time so I went ahead and um, put in a, a 16 gigabyte Sony card I had laying around and it seems to work just fine the way these go in is you just you just slide them in and uh, you just push it till it clicks and let go let go and it just stays in there um, so anyway that's the camera side and then um, let me talk a little bit about this landing gear so the landing gear when you when you first get the quad it's actually kind of like this it's pretty high up and what I noticed is when you're landing and stuff uh, it tends to like kind of bounce and it'll flip over on the side like this and if your landing gear is too high like it is how it comes it kind of flip, flips over and then it like sits like this and it just stays there so what I did just first a little bit lower center of, gra center of gravity and um, just to make it not flip over as much is I just went ahead and thought well what if I just you know bend these things down a little bit they're not gonna break they're pretty durable plastic and so what I did is I just like bent them down like this and held them for a little while and then you get a nice low center of gravity and um, if the quad does kind of bounce and tip when you land it'll just pop right back down onto the ground so I'd, I'd recommend you also have you know no problem with your camera clearance um, when you have those bent down a little bit it just gives it like a wider stance so I'd recommend doing that you know um, it won't break the the legs just do it kind of slow and careful and just bend them and hold them for a little while and then just push them to where just keep doing it to where you feel comfortable with uh, you know where you want them and that'll give it some more stability when it lands and um, let's see another mod would be the battery so um, let me open the battery compartment here's the plug for the um, the camera you just kind of pull it work it out like that just how you take off the the back you just hold like the camera here and then you just push backwards and the whole thing just pops off and you can open your battery compartment and this is where you put the battery here um, and if you didn't know you can actually take off this battery compartment to even save more weight like if you don't feel like flying with the camera um, you can actually just take this thing off all you do is you slide there's these two little tabs down here that actually hold in the compartment these two little notches on this side and on this side and all you do is you slide the whole thing down down like so and then you just kind of tilt tilt one end up and you push into the other end and this this end here will just pop right out pretty easily and then you just pull the whole thing out and it shouldn't break if you do it right I haven't broken this and I put some force on it so it should be fine and then you can actually just fly around like this with your with your battery and um, here's your stock battery um, these are um, 500 mAh 7.4 volt now the thing about this quad is it's got some pretty good power and speed because it is 7.4 volt. Um, usually these small quads are like 3.7 volt, I think it is. And they just don't have the punch to make it a whole lot of fun. They're still fun, but if you're wanting more, this, this extra juice really gives it some, some oomph. Um, only thing about that is I don't think they designed these small cordless motors to really handle that. 7.4 volts so I actually on this quad I had one um, the back left fry out on me so it doesn't work anymore so I have a few coming in I ordered a few um, 
So the stock batteries will give you around five to six minutes of runtime, depending on if you're running your camera or not. The camera pulls off of the um, the power from the quadcopter. Um, and I'm going to get to this battery here. This battery you can purchase off eBay. I purchased it off eBay. This fits perfectly. This is a, an upgrade. Um, it fits perfectly in the battery slot. All you've got to do is um, there's a little post. I already I took it out of this one already, obviously, but um, there's a little white post in there that kind of stops the the stock battery from going too far in and it balances the the quad out and all you've got to do is take a little um, uh, set of like needle nose pliers and go in there and you just basically twist this little there's a little um, post right here that will, will will be like right in this area and just pop that out and then you'll you'll be able to fit these these larger batteries in um, just take note after I did put this battery in that's when I I blew the motor um, this will give you like 12 to 13 minutes of, of runtime it's Electron Pro um, 30C which is a, high, a higher output um, battery than the stock batteries 950 mAh 7.4 volt and this this will actually charge um, twice as fast as your normal your normal battery so you can charge it a little bit quicker as well it probably weighs about a third more than the stock battery um, if you can notice the size difference uh, right here it's the same the same width but anyway um, I think it's a great upgrade it's just that the motors on this guy are are prone to fail with extended use and this doesn't help with this battery because you've got that extra six seven minutes of runtime that's just heating up your battery so you might want to be careful with that keep that in mind um, I the lastly for this this little um, this little mod demo here is I purchased these Boca bearings um, now this craft, this quad here, comes with these um, brass bushings. There's one on the top of the rotor here, and there's actually one on the bottom down in here. You can't oh, down in here. You can't really see it, but um, that also, you know, anytime you have bushings and not bearings, bearings will spin a lot smoother, so you'll have a lot less resistance. Um, so. I'm going to wait for the motor to come in, my replacement motors, I actually bought four of them just to have a few extras. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch these out with these same size um, Boca bearings. And this should really lessen the friction that um, you know this shaft is riding on, the propeller shaft here. I got these off of eBay, um, if you just look for um, Boca bearings. Um, I guess you could look for this. Let me try to open this real quick. You could just look for this model number. If you can't, give me a um, leave me a comment, or maybe I'll just post a link in the description on the size of these. But they're just these tiny little bearings. They're super small, and um, it just totally lessens the friction. You know that the craft how the craft has to work, the more friction, the more hard the motors have to work and the faster they'll heat up and burn out. So this should help a little bit. Everything will, will turn smoother and I plan to put those in um, pretty soon here as soon as these motors come in. Um, this guy is really fun to fly. It's got a lot of power. Um, it goes really quick. It's got um, four different rates of flight, 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Um, so you know you can learn on 25% and then gradually work your way up to 100% once you're confident in flying. And you know I've dropped it from 20 feet, you know, onto the cement, onto the grass, all different um, conditions, and I really haven't broke anything. I think I just kind of scraped up a, a few things on it. 
um, scraped up the props a little bit. I'm also going to eventually get a prop balancer and I'll, I'll be looking into learning how to balance props um, the correct way. So I heard that helps a lot as far as um, you know just the wear and tear on the on the craft and then for video stability and also um, a length of your battery runtime. But anyway, um, I've gotten this guy up to about f probably four to five hundred feet so far. And the way I did that was I did this um, this controller range extender mod. And this controller comes without this antenna. There's a, just a little antenna that's under the circuit board in here. And your hand basically goes over it. So it seems like it's kind of struggling to get that signal out. So what I did is I opened this up. I have a kind of a video tutorial um, on my channel about how to do this. And this will give you, I think the stock range was about 200, 250 feet as far as what I was getting in the neighborhood. Um, <clears throat> if I was probably like an open field or something, maybe more. But then, um, you know, the thing would lose range and one night I was flying it and I lost it like down in the pasture and I had to go looking for it. And just, it was like a needle in the haystack, man. And I can't believe I found it, but me and my son found it. Um, so the way you do this mod is you just drill a hole, um, take an uh, old router and pull off the antenna. It's got to be a 2.4 gigahertz router and basically just put it in the hole, snap it in. You could put a little bit of maybe glue around here to make it a little more stable. I didn't put any glue and just um, solder it where the old unsolder the old antenna and then solder this where the, where the old antenna was and you'll be good to go. And this will extend your range to so far four to five hundred feet. Um, I, was, I was way up there and I, had, I lost no control in my neighborhood at like four hundred. And so I'm, I'm thinking it could go at least five hundred if not more. And you always want to have your antenna um, perpendicular to your craft for the best antenna radiation. It's going to radiate out the uh, sides like this. It doesn't radiate out the tip. So if a lot of people they think, oh I gotta point it at the craft and you're actually lessening your your range because all the radiation is coming out the sides. And if your craft is over in the front it's not getting that that range. So you want to turn your antenna perpendicular to um, your craft for the best the best range. Anyway, that's just a little update. Um, stay tuned for more mods. Thanks for watching.